Hello, hello, hello! You're tuning into another episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's first topic. Happy birthday, Lamar Demetrius Jackson. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Lamar, MVP, Heisman, winner, soon to be Super Bowl champion, Super Bowl MVP, Demetrius Jackson. <laughs> Happy birthday to Nah, for real. Shout out to Lamar, man. Uh, enjoy your 27th birthday, man. I remember when I was 27, it was a magical day. <laughs> but nah, for real. Hope you have a wonderful birthday, safe birthday. Uh, hopefully you get to spend it with friends and family and stuff like that. Because once you reach a certain age, the birthdays just, they just keep coming. But for real, today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to cover something that ML I want to say his name properly. He's on Twitter. And ML Football. And he has said something that kind of irked me. It, matter of fact, it kind of pissed me off. And it, it, it's surrounding C.J. Stroud. Now, look, I was a C.J. A CJ Stroud guy as soon as um, the Texans got him. I said they got a gem. I said he's going to be a great uh, player. And I said Tank Dell, if everybody remembers, right, is going to be an absolute stud in this league. That's what I said, okay? Now, he did good his first season. Very good. The Texans are now going to the playoffs. They're going to get to represent, um, I believe, the AFC South with the way things are going right now because the Jaguars are getting their butts blown out. Pause. See what I'm saying? So, but I'm a, I'm, I, wanna, I want you to see what he wrote, and then we're going to break it down, all right? This is what he wrote. He said, C.J. Stroud should be an MVP candidate. He took the worst team in football as a rookie and brought them to the playoffs, elevated everyone around him, put Lamar Jackson on Houston, and I don't think they win as many games as they have. We've never seen anything like this. Why is it every time you guys want to engage me, you bring up this man's name on his birthday? Have you no shame? Have you no decency? At life, all y'all do is sing this man's name. Lamar, Lamar. Is this quarterback not good? Well, compare him to Lamar. Is this quarterback really great? Compare him to Lamar. If he can run really fast, compare him to Lamar. If he can throw really far, compare him to Lamar. Is he white? Compare him to Lamar. If he's black, compare him to Lamar. Is he mulatto? Compare him to Lamar. Oh, he sinned. Compare him to Lamar. It gets tiring after a while because y'all seem to only want engagement. Why would you compare him to Lamar? And just to, and just to make sure that we understand this, right? For the part where he said that you don't feel like he could win with this Houston defense or uh, uh, with this Houston team, I want to remind everybody: Miles Boykin, Willie Sneed, a one-footed rookie, Hollywood uh, Marquise Hollywood Brown, right, and Seth Roberts were Lamar Jackson's receivers when he won his first unanimous. MVP. That's the same season he led the league in passing touchdowns and led the league in QBR and put up 1,206 rushing yards while sitting out two and a half games worth of time. And that was the first season Lamar Jackson started. I just want to put that out there. Now, to put in context, he is the same guy that put this out. See, this is why I don't like people because they never remember what they say. They just put out foolishness. Check this out. This is what he said. He said, CJ Stroud will not be a very good NFL quarterback. Doubt he will make it through the season as a starter in Houston. Houston will regret taking him over Anthony Richardson, Will Levis, and Dorian Thompson Robertson. Aren't you the same one? that discounted the Ravens win versus the Browns because Dorian was in there at one point, right? Oh, you thought we forgot, right? You thought we forgot. You see 
what I'm trying to say. This is what I'm trying to say. None of them truly like Lamar Jackson. They don't like him. They've never liked him. They're looking for ways how to um, disassociate him with greatness, right? They try to. They always try to um, take digs at his achievements, um, at his accomplishments, always throwing shade or trying to diminish what he's uh, what he's done. If they said, "Oh, he ran for 1,260," yeah, but run defenses that year were weak. If he threw for 36 touchdowns, yeah, but there weren't that many passing touchdowns that year. If he wins MVP this year, yeah. But he truly doesn't deserve it. I would pick um, CJ, uh, uh, CMC over him. I'd pick Tyreek over him. I'd pick Tua over him. I'd pick Purdy over him. I'd pick anybody not named Lamar Jackson over him. I'd pick my mama over him. That's how far they go. And it never stops. Have some shame. I swear, What if, if people were allowed, if, 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 if people were, were forced to, to be held to what they always said and then shamed for the wrongness, especially media personalities, I bet you they would shut their mouths more. I bet you they would. They wouldn't tweet as much as stuff like that. Like, yo, I'm being held to this, bro. I just can't talk crazy, right? I was told, listen, I'm not, I don't have what some of these other guys have, the MLs and, uh, and ESPNs and stuff like that. I don't have what they have. But I've stood on everything that I've ever stated. And I've been way more right than I have been wrong. This year alone, this year alone, I called the MVP. I called the Ravens winning around 13 to 14 games, right? I called uh, 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 Bengals missing the playoffs. Y'all remember? Y'all remember? I called all of this stuff. The one I was wrong on, Buffalo. Buffalo looked like they're going to make the playoffs. But I called Tank Dell and all this stuff like that. And I don't have everything that these people have. And I don't talk this out of the side of my neck. I use facts to base everything that I say on because I have shame. That's why these people just every single chance they get take shots. And this is just like they were doing a couple of years ago when they were comparing every single quarterback to Lamar. It's like, bro, like, sorry, you were wrong. You thought 2019 was a one-off. Sorry, he's about to do it again. I don't care what y'all think. He's probably going to do it a third time. Because here's the thing, this is his first year in this offense. This is his first year playing with Zay Flowers. This is his first year watching Likely Truly start next to Lamar. This thing could truly take off next year offensively. If you thought we were already something, we're second in the league in scoring in the first year of an offense. First year. So what happens when Lamar's more comfortable? What happens when Zay Flowers is more comfortable? What happens when Likely is used more next to Mark Andrews? What happens when Mark Andrews actually plays and comes back? What happens when we actually have one of our starting running backs finish the year? What happens then? Please let me know. See, these are the things that I'm saying. You're not, you're not bringing up the Ravens' injuries. You're not bringing up uh, 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 some of the lack thereof on the offensive line or the drop from even the receivers. You bring up none of that. You're just like, oh, Lamar's on this stack team and he should win right now. It's not even fair. But then you guys forget everything that you said when you were when they were going against the 49ers. Everything that you said when they were going against Detroit. Everything they said when you were going against Miami. Y'all said they didn't have a chance. Y'all said the 49ers have all pros everywhere. You know the Ravens have good players, but most of them are all pros. That's what y'all said. So stop acting like you didn't. That you didn't. Because if you don't, I'm going to start handing out. I'm going to start making full episodes where the backhand of my hand swells from all of the slaps that will, I will be dealing out to y'all right and left chins. Because when I'm finding out, is a lot of y'all don't respect y'all jaw. And some of y'all jaws need to be checked for y'all to calm all that down. But what do you think? Do you agree with this foolish statement that <laughs> CJ Stroud was actually better than Lamar Jackson this year? Or do you agree with me saying this guy's full of crap and a lot of them been speaking crap and they're getting caught back up with their crap and they're not acknowledging how wrong they've been around about their crap? Let me know what you think down in the comment section, please. But as always, that's an episode of the Wonderkind Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. 
please do remember like subscribe hit that notification bell leave a comment you know love the comments and if you haven't done so already check out the one that can show patreon yes three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption give it a look give it a try let me know what you think and if you would like to donate to this channel help out with equipment and stuff like that because that's where all donations and stuff like that go bottom of the screen qr code qr codes to a cash app cash app located in the description of every video that we do and the name of it is money sign the one that can show Super easy. Once again, this is the one that can show. This is your host, Michael, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Hmm. Yerp.